Lift Off 6 Students' Book and Workbook Written by Steve Thompson and Lynn Allenby Text Copyright Steve Thompson and Lynn Allenby 2011 Recording Copyright Macmillan Publishers Limited 2012 This edition published 2015 Unit 1 Here and There Lesson 1 Old and New Pastimes Track 1 Exercise D. Listening. Check your answers. A. We're spending our holidays with our uncle and aunt. Last week we went sailing. Today we're near the Red Sea. My brothers are driving along the beach, but I'm relaxing with my uncle and aunt. I'm listening to the wind and watching the clouds. B. We're staying in a comfortable hotel in the middle of the city. I'm sharing a room with my two sisters. One sister is drinking lemon juice and looking out of the window. My youngest sister is drawing a picture and watching TV. We're all having fun. Lesson 2. An Important Festival Track 2. Exercise C. Listening. Check your answers to exercise B. Picture A. Hello, Saudi stars. My name is Sarah. I am reporting from Al Janadria Festival Village, about 50 kilometres from Riyadh. The Al Janadria Festival is taking place at the moment. It's an important Saudi festival for traditional arts, crafts and cultural activities. Picture B It is ten in the morning. I'm at a camel race. These races are popular and large crowds are watching them. About 50 riders and camels are riding around a long circuit. The camels are reaching speeds of 30 kilometres an hour. It's very exciting to watch. Picture C. It's 12.30 and I am walking around the area of the festival where craftsmen are showing their skills to the crowd. In front of me, a potter is making a water pot out of clay. I can also see a metal worker who is decorating a coffee pot. The tailor is also sewing a man's cloak. Picture D. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm watching the Arda, a traditional Saudi dance. The performers are standing in rows and moving slowly. They are wearing white thobes and raising their swords to the sound of drums. Lesson 3. Great Travellers. Track 3. Exercise B. Listening and Speaking. Repeat paragraph 3. Caribou migrate longer distances than any other land animals to find food. They move in herds large groups of animals. Herds sometimes have 100,000 animals in them and often travel 5,000 kilometres in one year. Lesson 3. Great Travellers. Track 4. Exercise F. Listening. Complete the information. The birds in the photos are arctic terns. The bird in the first photo is flying. In the second photo, the female bird is sitting on the nest. She is keeping the eggs warm. The male bird is feeding her. 
the babies are born after about 20 days. Arctic terns are neither large nor small. They are about 35 centimeters long and weigh about 100 grams. Their bodies are black, white and grey. Arctic terns are seabirds and spend most of their life above or near the sea. They live for about 20 years, a long time for birds. They eat small fish and other small sea life. Arctic terns migrate a longer distance than any other birds. They have their young in the north, near the North Pole. In autumn, they migrate south and spend a second summer near the South Pole. Then they fly back to the north. This is a journey of about 20,000 kilometres. Lesson 4. Saudi Review. Track 5. Exercise D. Listening. Listen and check your answers. These animals are loggerhead turtles. They spend most of their life at sea. When they are small, they face many threats. When they grow bigger, they migrate long distances. Loggerhead turtles grow to about a metre in length and weigh 120 kilograms. They eat small fish, seagrass and other sea life. Females leave eggs under the sand on beaches and the babies are born there. Unit 2. Achievements, Ambitions, Adventures Lesson 1. Under the Sea Track 6. Exercise C. Listening Complete the table about James Cameron. James Cameron comes from Canada. He was born in August 1954. He went to school in Canada until he was 17. In 1971, his family moved to California in the United States. He studied at university for two years, but he left in 1974. For three years, he drove a truck and wrote in his free time. In 1977, he got a job in a film studio. At first, he worked as a designer. Then he did other different jobs in the studio. For example, he worked as a film editor. In his free time, James Cameron is very interested in diving and he has made more than 70 dives deep under the world's oceans. In 2012, he went to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on the surface of the earth. Lesson 1. Under the Sea. Track 7. Exercise F. Pronunciation. Listen and copy the intonation. She's the most intelligent person I've ever met. The most intelligent person you've ever met? Really? That's the nicest meal I've ever eaten. The nicest meal you've ever eaten? Really? That's the most enjoyable book I've ever read. The most enjoyable book you've ever read? Really? That's the coldest place I've ever been to. The coldest place you've ever been to? Really? He's the strangest person I've ever spoken to. The strangest person you've ever spoken to? Really? Lesson 2. Plans for the future. Track 8. Exercise C. Listening. Complete the questions. What's your ambition, Salma? I want to be the first Saudi female to go into space. Why do you want to do that? 
I have always wanted to be an astronaut and to see the planets and stars from space. How will you achieve your ambition of going into space? At the moment, some companies are developing rockets to take people into space. The flights will start in about ten years' time. Tickets will be very expensive. It's going to be difficult, but I'll try and save enough money to buy a ticket. What will you do if you can't go into space? I'm a determined person. I hope I will go into space. It's been my dream for a long time. Lesson three, an amazing story. Track nine, exercise C, listening and speaking. Repeat paragraph two. While Julianne and her mother were flying, there was a very bad storm. Suddenly, lightning hit the plane. At a height of three thousand two hundred meters, the plane broke into pieces and crashed into the jungle below. Julianne found herself falling to the ground. I was in my plane seat, and I was wearing my seat belt. When I fell, Julianne remembered. When she reached the ground, she survived her fall. She had a broken bone in her shoulder. A cut to her right arm, and a bruise on her right eye. Lesson three: An amazing story. Track ten, exercise E. Listening. Complete the story. Number the pictures in the correct order. After the accident, Julienne found some sweets, which were her only food. She also found a small stream, which she followed for nine days. She got clean water from the stream, and it gave her a path through the jungle. On the ninth day, she found a boat, which belonged to some men who were cutting trees. I stayed by the boat, but I wanted to leave. I didn't want to take the boat because I didn't want to steal it. After a few hours, the men returned. They took her down the river to a small town. A local pilot flew her to a hospital in Pucalpa, where her father was waiting. Julianne returned to Germany. Like her parents, she studied biology at university. Two directors made films about her story in 1974 and 2000. In 2011, Julianne wrote a book about her experience. It is called "When I Fell from the Sky." Lesson four, Saudi Review, Track Eleven, Exercise B, Listening. Check your work. A. Ambition. Ambition. B. Achieve. Achieve. C. Biology. Biology. D. Submarine. Submarine. E. Shoulder. Shoulder. F. Survive. Survive. G. Championship. Championship. H. Astronaut. Astronaut.